Yo ho. Yo ho. <laughs> All right, folks, we're back again, unfortunately, to toast the life of a musical giant. A couple, really. Robbie Robertson and uh, Jimmy Buffett. Just two fucking... Uh, I will be listening to the, both of their music until I die, you know? And, and you know, the, the, I was going to say... That, uh, you know, the band's music was more complicated, which is stupid. Um, there was just a, a deeper level to it and the variety and how they could play and uh, stuff. But but there'll always be a place for Buffett's music, you know, in, in your life. Because, you know, and I, I'm not big on that whole five o'clock somewhere thing, but uh, it's true. It, the sentiment is right on. I, I The song I could do without, but, uh, I, you know, whatever. But, uh, and just that whole island vibe and, you know, we all want to go there and, and he mastered it. And just, just think about the heaviness of that one song, Margaritaville. Jimmy Buffett died, he was worth a billion dollars, which is sad with respect to the fact that that still couldn't help him with what he got or had. And, uh, but, um, it really just stemmed from that one song. I mean, that became a, just a part of society, you know, ingrained in society, you know, and it'll still stick there for a few more years. You know, like the, the young kids I work with, I, I actually didn't mention Robbie Robertson, but they, they'd heard of Jimmy Buffett. I bet you none of them would have had any idea who Robbie Robertson was. So we're going to do a Buffett tune. St working on a couple band ones. I could do the weight, but that's, that just doesn't seem like a one guy song because you got to kind of throw the verses and the last verse has to have three or four people singing it together I think not to say I won't do it by myself but I think ideally that's how you want it and that's how they did it the band I think the first three to four verses were leave on then Danko sings one verse then they all three of them Richard leave on and uh, Rick sing the last verse I think you know, gonna catch a cannonball, take me down the line, bag is sinking low, I do believe it's time to get back to Miss Fanny, you know she's the only one who sent me here with her regards for everyone. We must a little toast to Jimmy, Robbie, and Jerry. Oh yeah, let's turn this thing down. He's heading to Pirates of the Caribbean. Disney World stream. Oh, in here. Stella, sorry, no land shark here, man. In a pinch, but I'm not willing to hear it. This is Stella in a Stella glass. But I went digging. Sorry, I'm not going to add any more light. But 1988, 89, 90. These might not actually be in order. In 91, my fourth, Jimmy Buffett, four years in a row there at Great Woods in Mansfield, Mass. Then I saw him again the last time. Uh, I don't, it was 13, 2014, maybe, 13, 14, 15, in Montgomery, Alabama. Which was nice, because I was working in Biloxi, and I went up. I think it's 65 maybe or something. But anyway, there's a one of Hank Williams' homes I stopped at. And then I ate at some restaurant in Montgomery. But it's known Hank Williams hung out there. The Hank Williams, the number one. And uh, But they were, during the Depression, there was a place they had these hamburgers. And to make the meat go further, they mixed it with, uh, 
I think it was just flour, but it might have been something else. I think it was some, but it was some something like flour, and, and not some some wild thing. It's something I just can't think of, but uh, it they still make them, and they kind of because it, it kind of developed its own taste, and, it, and so I remember eating at that, and it was like a classic gold bar stool stools in the floor, you know, a soda shop sort of thing, nineteen thirties forties feel. So that was cool. So, uh, yeah, so there's the Robbie Robertson and Jimmy Buffet. Or should I say James Buffet? Yeah, so that's a uh, that's a shame that Buffett one. I guess those who knew him knew it was coming, but that seventy six man billionaire and just I guess the the lesson there maybe he waited too long or something. But that's a shame. Even if you never really planned to go see him again, it was good knowing he was still alive. And so. That's what can you do, you know?
it's a work in progress at this moment. But anyway, peace out.